bike today I wanted to talk to you about the suspension on a trail finder 2 I've been hearing on Facebook a lot here lately about the complaint of the lack of flex you get out of a leaf spring truck and I will say factory these trucks don't come with very much flex at all this is a completely factory suspension all three leaf shocks in factory location except for the front it's got dual front shocks but the inner spring has been removed out of the shocks so I'm not fighting the springs on it this is also a trail finder 2 chassis but it has slight modifications and it gets a lot more flex more realistic flex if you will you can achieve this flex by little cheap mods you can take it see if we can get in there that's the o-ring mod now on mine I put o-rings above and below the leaf spring it just helps the axle move away from the leaf. It gives you a little more mobility. The second mod I did on this truck was a Chino mod. Let's see if I can get it to cooperate there. There it is. You grind the top angles of both sides of the leaf spring. And it just lets it move on the bolt freely. It gets a little more articulation to it, if you will. Lastly, shooter shackles. They help tremendously on letting the suspension drop and do what it needs to do while you're out crawling. Really cheap mods, easy to do, and it improves the truck so much. I mean, it's four times what you get out of a factory suspension also I did not mention I took the shortest length out of these springs I'm only running two leaves on this truck this truck's still running all three leaves because it's made to pull but as far as suspension goes it don't have near the lift or flex that the other truck has. I hope this helps you out and get you on the trails. Now that we're done discussing the Trail Finder 2 suspensions, I thought I might give y'all a quick glimpse of some future projects might be coming soon, hopefully. Just a little teaser. See what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think in the comments.